What do we get here? Let's give it a spray. Let's give it two sprays. A 2019 release from the house Imaginary Authors is Telegramma. Imaginary Authors is a pretty unique fragrance house. All of their fragrances are based on imaginary or made up short stories, poems, or novellas. Each fragrance comes packed in a little mini book. It's really cool, really great packaging. It's one of my personal favorite houses out there right now. I think their stuff is definitely unique and interesting. And today we're gonna talk about Telegramma. There are a few cons to this fragrance that I'll talk about later. Telegramma is an aromatic fougere. Now this opens up with a lavender blast, but it's cozy lavender. A little bit spicy, but very, very comforting. Now in each of the imaginary author's fragrances, they have an imaginary note, something that inspires the fragrance through short story. And I believe this one is fresh linens. The notes and telegramma are lavender, vanilla, amorous linen, teakwood, black pepper, and talc powder. This fragrance has a great vibe. You definitely get the lavender in this. It's very soft, it's very cozy. It's a little bit spicy, but then you have the linen cozy vibe to this. I really like it. It's very nice, it's very cozy. It's one of my personal favorites from the House Imaginary Authors. Now, as soon as you spray this up top, you get hit with lavender and there's a little bit of spice from black pepper. And then it tones down into a cozy, warm, almost like a steamy vanilla. I really enjoy this. This is a very comforting fragrance to me. This is like like high class to me. It has like a higher class sophistication. This does have the reminiscence of an upscale cozy barbershop. Maybe a little bit vintage. There's also the note of talc powder in this. I love to wear this fragrance personally. This is one of my go-to year round. You can definitely wear this year round. This can definitely be a signature scent fragrance. My main issue with this fragrance is the longevity in the projection. While it does project moderate, this specific bottle, I don't know if it's this batch, I get the longevity is a little bit weak on it. It doesn't last too long. I would say in a couple hours it's gone and I have to reapply, which is okay because I actually really love this fragrance and I wear this all the time. I would say this is close to being a signature scent for me. It's just cozy and easy to wear. If you're not familiar with Imaginary Authors, I'll leave some links down below so you can check out their amazing creations. Very creative in this for sure. I think Telegram is a little bit underrated honestly from their line. I think this is one of the more least talked about fragrance from the line, but personally this is probably my favorite by Imaginary Authors. Another great thing about these fragrances is they're not too pricey, especially for an indie perfumer. This is the 50 ml and these roughly go for $100. Their whole line is super creative and you can pick up their fragrances for 100 bucks. Also, they have samples of all their stuff and when you buy a full bottle fragrance, they also, you can choose what samples you like to receive with them. I think that's awesome. I think it's definitely worth checking this brand out. I'm going to leave links to the direct website of Imaginary Authors. This fragrance is definitely unisex. I mean, who would wear something like this? I would say anyone that wants to feel cozy, anybody that likes a little bit of a powdery lavender vanilla vibe, this is perfect. Anyone can wear this and any season you can pull this off. Who would I picture wearing this? Honestly, probably Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. This just has like a sophistication, like his cool and calm and collective vibe. This fragrance I feel like would just sum him up. I feel like this is what his dojo would smell like. Just like a nice fresh vanilla, lavender, very clean, very classic. This is it. If you're into smelling cozy and you like lavender, and vanilla. This is definitely a fragrance that I would recommend that you should check out. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this fragrance. Like I said, if you don't buy it, well, more for me because I love it. Abroad the transatlantic flight many years after an intense but short-lived meeting. Two Argentinian lovers are supendously united by the repercussions of this much-anticipated convergence could have global consequences. 